Hi. Uh, in this uh, video, I'll show how to make this uh, this game in Thunderbolt, where you control a little spaceship, and when you press start, they'll start to come uh, some meteors uh, down from from the, the sky here. So you have you use the the arrow buttons to control the spaceship and. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I made the the graphics in the Pisco app, and um, so so that's uh, just some uh, some very uh, simple uh, <coughs> pixel art I've made. Um, so let's get started. So I'll start a new project. Uh, and thank you, Paul. I call this a space game. And I'll use the, the canvas as a game. Game scene. So when you're in the canvas, you press the the stage, and then you can see the, uh, the sprites which are on the canvas. So here we have a little beaver, but uh, I want to make my own, so I add a sprite type here. And uh, when you add a sprite type, you you, have, you can upload uh, an image for that sprite. And actually, I'll upload a an, uh, uh, GIF for this. So. So I'll just find the, the GIF I have uh, on my computer here. So it's uh, this called New Pixel. So when I, <clears throat> uh, now I have uploaded it, and then I have to to add the sprite to the, to the stage. So I drag the sprite type from either here into to the game or to the canvas. Or I can also uh, drag it from here. No, I actually have to drag it from here. So like that. So here we have our spaceship. And uh, actually I want to delete the, the beaver. So I delete that. And uh, now we should be able to, to see the, the beaver on on my live test, so I'll live test this. So I'll drag in my and I'll select the Thunderbolt here. So here we see uh, my little uh, spaceship with an animated uh, GIF. So that was the first part. And actually, I have uh, some screen uh, shots here, how I, I would like my uh, design to look. So this one, I'll have a, a left arrow and a right arrow and a stop button. I have a start button and a game over uh, label. And then I'll, I'll have a, a, a meteor. meteor uh, dropping from the sky and uh, yeah so that's it so <clears throat> this this image uh, tells how um, how you add a sprite so you first t add the um, click the add sprite type and then you upload uh, your file and then you drag in uh, your uh, sprite So let's move on. So actually, I would like to set my stage uh, color. So I'll pick a nice uh, blue, bluish color here as my background, like that. And then I'll add a new sprite type for my uh, arrow. So I upload my arrow. My left arrow, 
and actually rename it. So left arrow, and I drag a sprite on to the stage, and I place it down here. Actually, I also want to. Uh, yeah, name that sprite left arrow. And then I'll pick my sprite type. How do I do that? I'll pick it up here. Sprite type 2, and I'll change that to ship. And I also change the name of my sprite to ship. So now I make a, another sprite type, and that's my right arrow. So I rename that. And I drag it into the scene here. Place it down here, and then I'll I'll want my stop button to stop the the movement. So it's this one, and I'll name that stop button, and I'll drag it onto the stage. And I place it in the middle here. Okay, and then I'll just add a sprite type, which uh, should be my meteor. So I'll pick that. And I name that But I don't want to uh, make an instance on the scene or the stage because that I'll, I'll make a, a dynamic from from the top here so that's my layout and uh, no nope, I actually need a, a button start button so I'll add the, another one so I have this start button. And I'll rename that. Like that. And I'll place that here. And I'll make it a little bigger here. So. And I also want my game over. So I'll add that. So I'll call that game over, and I'll drag that in here. Like that. So call that game over. And I'll also rename this start. Okay. So now we're ready to go into the blog editor, and uh, I have made a screen dump of my blocks, so I'll actually drop those down here so I can look at those. So I'll go into to the blog editor here, and. Uh, See, I'll, I'll first make a, an event when the canvas loads. So let's see where that is. When canvas loads do, so I'll hide the, the looks, the hide the game over. Sprite. And when we click 
as a sprite. And which sprite is that? That's, that's our start sprite tree. When that's clicked, I want to start. Uh, no, actually, that should be the left. So I type this left arrow. I want to set the sprite ship speed. So I'll take this. And I want to set that as a minus 150, like that. So when I press the left arrow, uh, the, the ship should start moving um, to the left. And I'll duplicate this. And I'll pick the right arrow here. I forgot to name that. So I'll just go back here and click the stage. And I click this, and I'll change that to the right. Arrow. And I'll also click this and name that stop. Okay, I go back. So right arrow. And I'll make that 150 positive. And then when we click the, the stop, I'll stop it. So it's this one, and I'll set it to zero, like that. Okay, then we want to start the game. So when we click the start, it's here. I want to hide the, the start. And then I want to create an, uh, a sprite. Add and remove. So I create a, a meteor. And where do I want to create it? It should be a little down from the top. And then I'll pick a random integer from here. So it should also be a little from the left. And then uh, 320 or something like that. Actually, I should set that as a calculate that. So, I'll duplicate the number here. Oh, can't do that. So, tower in 40 here. I'm going to pick the, the canvas width. So, I'll put that. Yeah. Like that. And I'll set that over here. So that should go from 40 to canvas with minus 40. And uh, then I'll, I'll uh, set the, the Y speed of that new uh, meteor. Oh, that was wrong. So I'll duplicate this. And that should be the component we are instantiating. And I set that Y speed to uh, 200. Okay. So now we have some uh, meteors uh, dropping and we can control our ship. So let's look at that.
just restart it. So, like that. So now I can control my ship, but uh, I have to I have to get the meteors on stage, but I didn't get any. So let's look into that. So when sprite start is clicked, uh, create. Uh, so why does it not come in? I have to figure out that. Sprite type meteor create. Hmm. Let me try that again. Oh, it's up in the corner, I can see. So it's actually stuck in the corner. So I'll try and do the magic number here. Let's see that if that helped. Yeah, that's better. So we'll just restart. So we have the start button here, and we have our ship, and I press the start button and I get a meteor uh, dropping from the sky at a random uh, x value. So so this uh, I couldn't get to work, uh, so I, I'll leave that out from now, and uh, I have to test that. So I'll just put in magic numbers here. So what should happen next if uh, the sprite type uh, collides with the stage? So where's that? Events when sprite type collides with any edge do. So that was here. So when the meteor sprite type collides with any edge, with the bottom edge, then we should uh, uh, remove the sprite. So it's here. Remove that. And then we should create a new one. Like that. So now we have to check if uh, it collides, but uh, let's just look at this, how that works. So uh, press start, and I get a emitter, and I get a new one when it uh, reaches the button, and I can control my my little ship. So now I have to to check for a collision, and that's uh, that's the final part. So when sprite type, let's see, collides with when sprite type ship collides with a meteor. Then I remove Collider 2, which is a meteor. And I'll show the game over. And I'll stop all sprites on canvas. And then I'll wait uh, three seconds, and then I'll show the sprite start.
and I had the game on. So now we should have a, a game we can restart. So let's look. So I press start and I can control this and uh, when I collide I get the game over and wait three seconds. I get the start but I, I didn't, uh, I have to remove the, the collide too. So that was that. So I put that down here. So we uh, remove the um, yeah. Okay. So I press the start, and I can control the ship. I get a game over. I wait three seconds. We get the start again, and I press the start, and a new uh, material is coming. So that's uh, how you can make this and then you can add sounds and you can add score and uh, you can add uh, progression so it, it will be harder and harder to play the game. So well, that's how you can use uh, sprites, uh, the canvas and, and the sprites and you can use uh, an animated GIF uh, from Piscal app to, to make a little uh, ship with uh, and ex exhaust in the in the back. Thanks.